Hey guys, this is Mike. I am going to be following the tutorial how to upgrade your iPhone 4 to iOS 4.21 without updating your baseband uh, so that you can preserve the baseband and unlock with Ultra Snow. So the first thing you want to do is go to Tiny Umbrella, download the latest version, and you're going to start the TSS server. Um, now if you, you actually want to make sure it's running up here as you can see. Now if you get any errors down in this log file, um, do not continue. Go on to Tiny Umbrella's website and uh, look at their FAQ. Make sure you know your you don't have any errors on here, otherwise you're going to run into problems. So once you get there, you're going to want to open up iTunes and then click on your actual phone. Now since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to be holding Option and clicking Restore. If you're on Windows, you'd hit Shift and Restore. Sorry guys, I'm recording this with an iPhone 4, so it's going to be a little bit blurry handy cam here trying to do everything with only two hands too. So next thing you want to do is select the iPhone 3 4.21 firmware and it's going to say do you want to restore this 4.21 yes and again just make sure that it says tiny um, umbrellas TSS server is running so you're going to hit restore and it's going to go through it all I'll edit this out so that you don't have to sit here and wait for it to do the whole restore as you can see it's doing the, the connect to iTunes okay guys we're back um, as you can see we're in recovery mode and up on the screen it says I've got the error code 13 which is exactly what we want um, from here it gets a little bit trickier you've got to hold down the home and the power button at the same time once the screen goes off completely black you want to let go of the power button but continue holding the home button for uh, two seconds so um, it, you want to get into a black screen and if that doesn't happen uh, it's gonna get back to this recovery screen just try it again until you get it so I'm gonna set this phone down a little bit so that uh, you can kinda see what I am doing on the ground here um, so again hold both buttons one two like over the top button, power button. And you can see I screwed up. So it's going to go back there. So let's try it again. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Let go. And it looks like I am still in the black screen. So that is good. I can let go of the home button. And we can open up Green Poison now. So we'll open that and we'll click on Jailbreak. And since it's in DFU mode already, you don't have to do anything. You can just basically sit and watch the phone take over. So you want to make sure that you get the Green Poison RC5-2. Uh, they released dash nothing or just the standard RC5 this morning and people running into issues. This RC5-2 seems to be working a lot better, but their site's a little bit hammered. So um, you just got to find a mirror if, if you can't get onto the site, greenpoison.com. Now it's going to go through all this code here, which is doing the jailbreak. And you can see they've got the am animated boot logo now, which is pretty cool. Again, sorry for the shaky hands. 
don't have a tripod or anything. If you got any other questions, just go to the tutorial page on LEI Mobile and uh, ask questions there. Um, be sure to download our app on the App Store, LEI Mobile 5. Uh, every time we post a new article, it's going to send you a push notification so that uh, you'll be updated with the latest iPhone, Apple, and iPad, iPod Touch, pretty much all the news on there. So, as you can see, we are at the Connect to iTunes screen now. So we're going to go ahead and open up iTunes. Still have that error out there, so let's just close that. And it's going to come up with the phone. Obviously, every time you restore, you want to set it up as a new phone. Hit continue, and it's going to do its sync and whatnot. On the phone here, see it says waiting for activation. I have a SIM card in here that is dead, so that phone number you saw on the screen is not a valid phone number. But anyways, we'll log in here. I'll go to settings um, general about networks unavailable obviously because the sim card's dead I've got 4.21 and you scroll all the way down see it's got the 1.5900 firmware as well so that means we updated to 4.21 still kept our 1.59 baseband so we're good next what Green Poison did is it added this loader. Um, first, you're only going to get on Wi Fi. So let's go back and connect to Wi Fi. Okay, guys, I am on the Wi Fi now that I typed in the password. So we'll go back to the loader application that Green Poison put on there. And it's going to download the sources. Well, it appears that the uh, city is not making it into the loader here. Um, so another thing we can try, I guess, to get city on here is most likely because the servers are overloaded right now, is uh, launch up Red Snow. Uh, Red Snow 097B6 seems to work. You're going to hit Browse. Go to the iPhone 3 4.21 firmware. It's identified, so hit next. And let's click install Cydia. Hit next. And basically follow the instructions. So we're going to shut off phone and I'm gonna put the phone down here again so that you can kinda see what I'm doing here but you wanna make sure the phone's turned off hit next and hold down the home button three seconds then press both of them for ten seconds And then let go of the power button and continue holding. And as you can see, it says it's exploding, exploding with lime rain. And downloading the jailbreak data. So we're actually pretty much re-jailbreaking again just to get city on there
Now, hopefully, you shouldn't have to do this red snow. Um, this is just a temporary glitch, I guess, that uh, hopefully should be fixed pretty soon. But I imagine it's just because the servers are overloaded since Green Poison was just released today. And the reason it was released is because with the new 4.3 coming out, it's already been patched, so we're going to have to find a different way to untether the iPhone with 4.3. Right, let's check to see if we've got City on there now. Which we do. So we'll open that up. And since that was the first time, we're going to have to redo it, reopen. And that's going to ask if you're user, hacker, developer. I'm a developer, so I'm going to click that. Waiting for activation. Because we haven't unlocked yet. And then we're going to want to install Ultra Snow if we are unlocking. There we go. Finally came up. So you want to do a complete upgrade, confirm, make sure let it download everything. And we will reboot, and I will pause after this again. Okay, so we're back. We've got Ultra Snow installed. Um, so let's eject the sim here. Again, I'm going to put the phone down so that I can use both hands. So we're going to pop out the AT&T sim. you can see here and put the T-Mobile SIM in and you can see the iPhone is now activated T-Mobile. And we'll go back to show that we are on 4.21, 4.21, and the 1.59 baseband. So that's it. Unlock Velchno on Green Poison with the 4.21 firmware.